Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more Naruto X Boruto Ninja Tribes. Now, last night, um, uh, among all of the craziness that has happened with Grand Cross Global Release, we got an open beta via your browser. I will have the link so you guys can play the game yourselves in the description below for Ninja Tribes. So I've been playing it a little bit, trying to get a little bit familiar. I've not played too, too much. I only went through like, I think like the first stage of story, I believe. So I'm only like level six. Um, so this is kind of like my first impressions video for you guys here on the channel um, as we play around and do some stuff with it. So you'll notice here that they have a beginner challenge unlock SR Boruto event going on. They do make you do a uh, multi. Um, there are servers like server one, server two, server three. So I don't know if that's going to put some players off. I really don't like those types of things, but I guess we'll have to see how that goes. Um, you have your inbox, your exchange, your items. You have your toolbox, which, of course, I can't unlock yet until I'm level 25. You have your news, basically just telling you everything that's been going on. The Crunchyroll exclusive beta has begun. Awaken Naruto to five stars with running start login bonus. Get one million Rio in the running start challenges. Uh, Naruto Uzumaki 7th Hokage distribution for browser version players and then recommended OS versions and specs. So just that little bit of information there. We've got some of the events going on right now. Um, and then you can also sort out by bugs fixes. So there you go. This is one of the things that we're working on right now in the game. Running start challenge event. This is your chance to get 1 million real, which is kind of like the in-game gold, if you will. But it's, you know, silver coins. Combine the running start uh, login bonus fragments to awaken SR Naruto. Um, so there's that, guys. Uh, we also have the menu here. You got your profile, which you can see here. My name, my account ID, my uh, level, of course, is 6. My blessing level, uh, Max Shinobi level right now can only be 6 because I think it has to be matched up with whatever your account level is, which I hate that, but it is what it is. My team power right now is 20, 21,401. You can you know put in your little introduction if you'd like. Uh, Daily Shinobi coins unpurchased and purchased and then you have your alliance and then tournament league which I haven't done none of that yet and you can even change your icon which we can just go ahead and do that right now um best bay in the world right there let's go at least in naruto <laughs> sound settings and then of course we have other if you would like okay so there's that uh you can also change your uh backdrop for your main lobby you can run it to one single unit or your entire team if you'd like we have Shinobi List, Team, Alliance, Challenges, Summon, Shop, Missions, and Events. Uh, we got a new feature that unlocks at level 7, which is Skip Battle. Don't have that yet. Can't wait to get it. I just recently at level 6 unlocked Auto, which is cool. We have Stamina going on right now. Um, right, I'm sorry, that's our Stamina at the top right, obviously. Then you've got your Gems, those are what you're going to use to summon with. And then we have this various um, information here I'm about to show you guys. So, this is the team power, leaderboards, you have the mission stars, acquire leaderboards, the shinobi unlocked leaderboards, and alliance leaderboards. So, there's a lot of, you know, damn rankings in this game. Like, holy crap. Um, and then, we go over here. Whew. The billing system is currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. We apologize. So basically, they're not letting anybody spend any money because it's just a beta, I suppose. Um, you can buy stuff with your in-game uh, gems that they give you, though. You just can't use any real cash, and you can see what other benefits that you're going to get. So it's probably, you know, go ahead and use 10 of those. Why not? All right. Um, blessing level 1. Obviously, when you max it out to level 2, then you will unlock. can purchase stamina four times per day. I don't like this because this is basically a VIP system. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. This game isn't looking very promising. I had some kind of a little bit of hopes. I didn't have high hopes, but I had a little bit of hopes for this game. But yeah, this is basis, basically a VIP system. So take it however you guys want to take it. But I mean, look at all the stuff that it gets way up to freaking shinobi basically blessing level 15 i'm just i i mean i understand that you can purchase this with in-game currency but as a free to play or even a casual spender i don't know how you're gonna i don't know we'll have to see how it plays out but that definitely is a red flag for me 
We got special shop, which of course we can't get to right now. Uh, the daily shinobi shop can't get to, and the shinobi coin shop, which we can't get to. Because they don't want us to use any real money. Because it's in beta. Alright, so, and then our last button up here. Again, just more billing, or I'm sorry, uh, more shops. So there you go. So those, those, these two icons are here, just take you to shops. That takes you to your rankings. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, I think. Um, so let's go ahead and look at our Shinobi list. You can see here of all your different units. Um, it tells you what type they are. You have D, T, and A. Those are the different typings of characters. Um, it looks like they can go all the way up to seven stars uh, for Awakens. It shows you their individual power. Um, there could be rare, SR. I'm not sure if you can go to SSR. I'm assuming you can. I just don't have anything. Oh, it looks like you can go to UR. Kakashi is a UR right there. So that confirms that. So maybe there isn't SSR. Maybe just go straight to UR and that's it. Goes SR to UR. I'm I, I'm a guess. I'm guessing. That's what I can tell here anyway. But you know, it's, it's cool. And then you click on your character. You can look at their information. I like the little backdrops. I like those those illustrations. Very nice. You can even look at them in full screen, which is really cool. I'm down for that. Looks very nice. Stats. You can look at your character stats. You can look at the character's profile. Just tells you a little bit about that character got their tiers their defense their attack their hp their overall power tells you what their type is their level their awaken their speed and enhancement and gear which you can of course do that as well in the character enhance panel and then you can go through all your different teammates uh and build them up as well if you'd like so i mean you know you're 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 pretty standard stuff in a lot of these gotchas and, and you know RPG games in general. So you got you got promotion. You can promote. Requires the following materials. So you can go ahead and promote. I'll just do one for example here for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and promote that Sakura. She's now tier 1 to tier 2. Power went up. Speed went up. And by the way, speed, um, total team speed dictates who goes first in the battle, by the way. You guys are wondering. So then you got your skills here as well, which you can build up. And unlock when you get them to certain star awakens you also got gear scrolls and talisman and vitality which i can't even get that so i'm level 44 so that's gonna be a hot minute now i do like these i like this page it looks really really nice very simple straight to the point not hard to you know kind of grasp there so overall the character pages aren't too bad to understand they're actually pretty basic and pretty easy so i'm cool with that so let's go ahead and back out of that. Let's go to the team. You can set up your team now. Uh, edit team, tribe specials, enhance team. We unlock at 32. Um, enhance three-man cell or shinobi type effects and aim to create the strongest team ever. Kind of cool. Game prayer. Use prayer tokens like uh, gamma statues to enhance your shinobi's abilities. And then at 53, shrines. Acquire amulets to strengthen shinobi of each type. Check your upgrades, your tribe specials, which you can see here. You can see the teams that you have to have to do these certain moves, which is really cool. So, for example, if we want to let's see which is a good one, what is a good one? So, for this one, for example, if we want to bust out the Rasa, the the Rasa and pass through the ages, we would have to be running this Naruto and this Boruto, which is really interesting. And you can see here, this is the Boruto that I'm going to have to run. The Boruto Uzumaki and the Hokage Sun Boruto Uzumaki. Or my story, Borto Oz, uh, uh, can't talk today, Borto Uzumaki. So, and then the same thing for these Naruto's. You can run any of these three Naruto. So, you have to run one of these three and one of these three to use this skill in battle. So, that is pretty cool that they have these combo skills and you have to have certain team setups to do them. And it even tells you what the ability is over here. Deals 100% to uh, plus 180% damage to one enemy. Boost attack by 20% for user and all allies on the same Three man cell for the rest of the battle and increase all allies chakra by 2200. There's even a filter system if you like to filter, probably for units that you own or own it you don't. And there you go. So, tribe special, really, really cool. Again, edit team right here. You can do force, spirit, energy. Um, edit the team as you wish. You can't pick up an attack bonus or HP or defense bonus until you're level 32. And that's for team one. Looks like you can have up to six teams at a time. Which is very, very interesting. So there you guys go. That's team building. Alright, now we have... I can't show you alliance yet. Which is create an alliance... An, an alliance. Create an alliance with other players and gain various bonuses. 
challenges, clear objectives to earn EXP and items, and then summon, of course, you guys know what summon is, I mean, <laughs> let's get real here. So right now, let's do our uh, times one summon that we get free per day. Activate powerful tribe specials. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the summoning animation, which is actually really cool. The summoning animation is pretty legit, not gonna lie. I have not learned what all of the different summoning animations mean yet. But let's see what we pull here. Boom! Okay. And boom, right off the bat, we're going to get a four-star rare, Choji. So, okay. <laughs> and I have no idea how good some of these uh, characters are. You know, how good or bad they are, for that matter. Um, this is the banner that's up right now. The one free summon daily legend summon. And then the one... Free times 10 daily summon daily because I'm assuming they might I think they're gonna clear these I don't know if they're gonna clear these accounts or not after release since they do have the cash shop locked out I don't know but um anyway so this is like you're like your free material that you can use basically your um uh, your your in-game currency like you're in the game gold rather or what the hell they call it in this game they call it uh Rio Use your Rio on that banner. So you have a Rio banner right now, and then you have your just normal banner that you summon on, which obviously we can't do right now because we need 2,500 to do a multi summon. Uh, shows you the drop rates as well. So to get a four star UR uh, Sasuke, you're gonna need it's a 0.067% chance. Now, if you look up here at the top rates, to get a four star UR, it's a 0.2%. Uh, drop rate to get a three star to 2.8 so almost a three percent rate to get a three star you are um, Four star SR is a two percent rate. So you have almost you basically have about Five percent chance to get at least a four star SR or better 38 percent chance to get a three star SR now the difference between a three star SR and a four star is simply it's just you have to awaken it So it's like it's making it's saving you a lot of work from having to awaken it from a three to a four um, and then, of course, it goes all the way down even further. So, very cool. And then you have the expiration tickets that you can use. Obviously, I don't have no tickets right now. Shinobi details. You can look at the, the different units right now. When they're at 3-star awaken and at 5-star awaken, you can even play to see their special moves and their tribe specials if you'd like. You can even look at their stats here. It tells you their vitality, their skills, all that good stuff very cool so i do like all this stuff and you know it gets a good idea to know what the unit's going to be like before you even pulling it right kind of helps you gauge how well the character really is so that's pretty cool that they show you at base and then at fully maxed out awakened um so if you want to go ahead and just showcase what his special ninjutsu looks like we'll just go ahead and play one real quick for you guys here all right there you go boom chidori very cool. So, and again, we could do the same thing for the tribe special. And he is an attacker, obviously. I like to just call him like um, attackers, tech technicians, tacticians, tacticians rather. Um, and then D for like defenders. It's kind of like how I like to, con you know, talk about all three different character classes. Um, we have the shop here, which of course we've already briefly talked about. You can't do really much in this right now because it's in beta. Uh, missions. Shows you all the different missions you got to do. Standard missions, elite missions, gold rush drills, and EXP drills. So we completed a mission already. Let's go ahead and grab it. Oh, actually, no. It's just telling us where to go for another mission. So we're currently on uh, Chapter 2-1 right now. The Kakashi. So let's go ahead and take them on. So you'll see here you got different story uh, missions that you got to go through. It even tells you the recommended power on the stage. They're on like 18,000 is recommended for the elite enemy. And of course, I got a two-star clear. You can get a three-star clear to get all the max rewards, obviously, like most games. They even have a strategy guide. There you go. Kind of tells you, you know, recommended power and kind of what you're dealing with to better set up your teams. So that's cool. So we'll get back out of that for a minute. And that is really pretty much it when it comes to everything there is currently available in the game. Um, so we're going to go to events now. And it'll show you here we got the Ninja Arena that unlocks at level 14. Duel your rivals and climb the rankings. 
raid work together with your allies comrades to challenge mighty raid bosses which this this is this is intriguing to me definitely want to check that out and then tower of eternity use all your unlocked shinobi in an all-out battle to conquer the tower of eternity which sounds really cool and then we have the joint exercises create a team with other players and join forces in battle which also sounds cool and then the ninja world tournament create five of the best three man cells and aim for the top of the ninja world so lots of game modes guys i'm totally down for it so i'll have to show you guys more here as soon as i start learning better you know how to better play this game the only red flag that i've had so far was the somewhat of a vip system i'm just not a fan of vip systems so as long as there's nothing really major with that going forward everything else seems to be pretty cool and i like the artwork it looks very unique and uh yeah so let's go ahead and play a game mode now let's go in our standard missions let's go ahead and get into a fight talk a little bit about this so this is the enemy we're going to be fighting this is our three star clears clear the mission no allies defeated use a three chain attack enemy power is 10,011. um and then you can see here that we can skip and stuff like that. But I don't have I don't have skip mission unlocked yet until I get to level 7, which will be very soon. So we're going to go ahead and prepare for battle. And we're just going to go ahead and use these teams because, you know, whatever. I don't really have any good units built up yet. And I don't even know what good units are good yet. So there you go. So now we're in battle. You can see here our speed is 310. The enemies is 30. So obviously we're going to be going first. You can target your uh, unit that you want to attack. It tells you the type they are up here. It's showing that he's going to be attacking. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use our Naruto. You can click and hold and see what their character skill is. Deals damage to one enemy and deals extra damage when uh, own HP is 50% or below. Increases own chakra if target is defeated. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And you can see up here you got the auto, the two times speed, one times speed, and skip. Which again, I don't have skip unlocked until you're level 7. And I'm assuming uh, skip allows you to skip the battle if it considers that you're strong enough and it's just going to auto clear perhaps. Or maybe you'll auto fail too. I don't know. So let's go in and attack now with our Sakura. So he's been defeated. Alright. And now we're going to go ahead and attack there on... I guess it really doesn't matter. There we go. Defeated another one. And I'm still learning what all the skills do and all the, you know, disadvantages and advantages and stuff like that. So there's definitely going to be taking some time to understand. But if you guys look up here in the top right, A is over T, T is over D, and D is over G. What, what I like to just call them, instead of calling them D-A-T or DAT or TAD, <laughs> just call them blue, red, green. So obviously red is stronger than green, green is stronger than blue, blue is stronger than red. We're going to go ahead and use one of our skills now since our chakra is maxed out. The blue bar is your chakra. When it is maxed, you can use your ability. And if you are running um, a proper team setup like we showed earlier, you can use a tribe special. So, very, very cool stuff there. And Choji is our last remaining opponent. And we're going to go ahead and use Miski to hopefully finish him off. And you can see the turn order down here, guys, in the very bottom center of your screen. I don't know if you guys were noticing that, but that's actually the turn order of who is able to go next. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, like I said, the artwork is beautiful. I like the artwork. The gameplay seems a little bit bland, in my opinion. They definitely could do more with it. But as as we play forward and get to harder to, you know, harder to type content like PvP, for example, it might become a little bit more challenging and more strategy will be involved. So that will be very nice. But early game, it is pretty basic. But if you get past that, I'm sure the game just gets better and better and better. Again, my only concern is the VIP system. Outside of the VIP system, I feel like everything else seems to be okay. I like the artwork. Um, so, yeah. What do you guys think about Ninja Tribes? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys, of course, want to see me continue to play this game, which I really hope you do because I definitely want to play it more on the channel, let me know by smashing that like button, watching the video, obviously, subscribing if you're new, taking notifications, and joining us in the Discord in the description. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Until next time, this was my first impressions of Ninja Tribes. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that we need to still get into, but I hope you guys are going to enjoy Nonetheless, 
and I will have the link to play the game in the description below if you guys want to play the game now as well in your browser. So there you guys have it. Until next time, have an awesome day as always. Peace.